an NES. Alright, let's go ahead. We're gonna go Trini. I always liked how the character model down... Or not the character model, but the... <clears throat> the ranger helmet down there always looked orange, not yellow in this game. At least part of it, I mean, or all of it mainly looks orange except for the very top part there. I always thought that was kind of cool to think that would be an orange ranger. Alright, Trini's not... Doesn't have a very long attack. Well, none of them really do in normal form. Pretty good, though. Can't jump off walls when you're the human. Only when ranger. Yeah, right through the door. That falls. You always gotta think, if something's hanging above you, you gotta know that most likely it will fall. Oh, wow, they can actually get hit by those? That's good to know. One of the first things that an enemy has actually gotten hit by. Don't disappear on me. There we go. I don't think they disappear, but who knows. I didn't want to wait around and see if they disappeared or not. Really? There's still... There we go. Thank God. She has a good jumping animation. She does this, like, straight, flat, flying kind of thing. grab him to stand up, dude, so I can throw you over. I'm trying to freaking dare. Wasted a bunch of health just trying to do that. Crap. Oh, wow. He jumped on the other side. That helps. I wish they did have different colored putties in the TV show. It would have kind of made things a little different. Like each of them had maybe like a different ability or something. Would have been cool. Jake the Snake, what is up? Thank you for stopping by. Oh, nice. Perfect timing now. We get full health and we're morphed. Oh, shoot. These guys have black eyes. Oh, and she just looks like a power smash. Wow, I'm getting beat up right now. Nathan, what about Custom Robo? Um, no, I don't think I have that either. Actually, I'm pretty sure I don't. What are these for? What is the Gundam Warriors for? Is that, um, wait a second, Gundam Warriors, is that part of, the, like, the Warrior series? Like, the massive beat-em-up thing? Where you have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of baddies that you're going up against? Like, Dynasty Warriors, but it's Gundam Warriors? Is that what I'm thinking of? Oh, I can actually blow those wheels up. I don't know 
what good that does for me, but oh well. I can blow him up. Blowing up, quick, get off, Trini. We're off in time, just as it falls. We got health. Oh my god. I mean, Zelda. Ooh, that was close. <clears throat> well, they have the 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 Zelda warriors or the, the Hyrule warriors, which is part of the warriors. Well, not part of the series, but it's the same kind of thing that the Dynasty Warriors is in. They just took the same format. Dynasty Warriors was Zelda, pretty much. Um, but I didn't know if he meant the Gundam Warriors. If that was the same thing, just with Gundam or something. Try to hit him so I don't have to. Uh oh, little one's starting to wake up, it sounds like. Dynasty Warriors Gundam. Oh, okay, okay. No, I don't have a lot of the Dynasty Warriors. I never got much into those. Oh, that was a pretty easy part. Wait, is that. Oh, uh, is that supposed to be New York City? That's a, supposed to be, I think, the Twin Towers, even though this. Angel Grove is fictional, but... Throw him off the edge. It's so much easier. Crimson Skies, uh, I played a little bit of. I actually have. Um... I have it, I just, um, I haven't played a lot of it. Wasn't it the original Xbox ones that we were talking about? That was like one of the first Xbox games that came out, I think. I have a silhouette you don't have on The Working Dead. I saw your video earlier, just want color, do you need? Um, maybe, yeah, it, it depends. I've gotten a few actually over the last few hours or today a little bit, but I'll, uh, I can check them out once I'm, uh, done streaming or maybe tomorrow once I... That sucks. I didn't realize that that was going to happen. I thought I would have got over there. I was not paying attention. But I'll, yeah, I'll check out to see. And the silhouettes, I'm not too worried about because I got in late. So if I ended up not, if I, you know, end up not getting them all, you know, so be it. All right, let's not do that again. I can't believe I freaking did that. Original Xbox, yeah, the Crimson, Sky, Crimson Skies. Um, yeah, I've played a little bit of it. Uh, it's been a while. Alright, so we can drop down to get that. But then we have to go back this way, because that jump was not able to be done. I put it under cards you need. Uh, you play PlayStation or Xbox or PC? I play a little bit of everything here. I mean, I've got all of the major systems. Um, so we've played a little bit of everything. We've played... Um, PC probably is the thing we play least of, just because my PC is crappy. Um, as I've said before. But, I mean, I don't think you've been around a lot when I've been saying that. But, yeah, my PC is pretty crappy. So any PC Strictly games, like even on like Steam and stuff... I tend to, um, I'm like not getting hurt at all. Um, uh, PC only stuff or, you know, stuff right from the PC itself, I tend not to play a lot of, but, uh, we play pretty much everything else. We played a few regular PlayStation games. Um, I think we've only done one original Xbox game. Why isn't this thing coming down or coming up to me? Oh, the Cubs are ahead. I know they were up three, nothing when I first saw. Why isn't this thing coming up to me? This is annoying as heck right now. Um, I think we've only done one original Xbox game. And that was during my uh, birthday stream. Alright, this is getting annoying that he's not coming up to me now. He's just going to do this. I can't jump over here. Five to one? Okay, cool. Yeah, the screen doesn't move with me, so 
I've just got to wait for him to... There, thank you. Finally. Um, yeah, we played uh, the, the first-person shooter game called Black. Um, we played uh, about a 45 minutes-ish on, uh, on that. What original Xbox game did you play? Um, the only one we've done so far is, um, yeah, the, the first-person shooter Black game is uh, the only one we've played. We played for about 45 minutes to an hour-ish back uh, during my big marathon thing that we were doing. We can just keep doing this. He won't get his, get his attacks off. He's not dead. That was way too easy. Really? Holy crap, that was easy. Jeez. Um, I have the original Xbox with a bunch of games. Yeah, I've got... Uh... Man, I don't know. 30-ish games on original Xbox? 30, 40 maybe? Can't remember. All right, now we're going to, to Jason here. We've been each character once. We'll go with Jason and see where we go from here. Area 5. we got to be getting close. Original Xbox was my first console. All about Halo, Crimson Skies, Tor Tie the Tasmanian Tiger. Yeah, I remember that. <clears throat> Favorite one would have the original Star Wars Battlefront. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we've done. I have done a little uh, Battlefront as well. Um... Around the time that b the new Battlefront was released... Oh, KOTOR, yeah. I do want to do a playthrough of KOTOR, uh, definitely. Uh, maybe soon here, because I'm in the mood for some Star Wars. Um, but around the time the new Battlefront came out, um, before I streamed some of that, I did do some of the Battlefront 2 on uh, original Xbox. So we've played two original Xbox games. So. Oh, now these brown ones take one hit to kill. Nice. I was kind of mad when the new Battlefront didn't have campaign. Yeah, they really derped the new Battlefront. I was kind of upset about that. Actually, I was very upset about it. I really wish they would have just done a strict Battlefront 3. When I heard EA was taking over the game license for LucasArts, or LucasArts, they haven't been around for years, uh, for Lucas, when um, that whole thing went down with Disney, um, and yeah, when I heard EA was going to be the main, um, the main team behind a lot of the the games. I mean, there's some there's some Star Wars games coming out that aren't EA. But EA is like the main, the main distributor or the main uh, developer for a lot of the Star Wars games. There will be. Kind of was a little upset about that, but really wish LucasArts would have stayed around and they could have made their own games. It would have been awesome. But really wish they would have just done a strict Battlefront three. Just take Battlefront two, make it online. Or well, Battlefront two was online, um, but you know just. Beef up the graphics, make it pretty, give us a bunch of different characters throughout the whole Star Wars saga, make DLC for the Episode 7 like they did. Um, or, well, no, they haven't made Episode 7 DLC yet, but um, they put the Jakku battle map on there. Um, EA is responsible for yeah, screwing up all games. Yeah, they. I mean, some of their stuff is good, some of their older stuff is pretty good. But, um, yeah, they, I don't tend to like a lot of their stuff. But, um, yeah, they should have just done Battlefront 3, give us characters and maps from the whole Star Wars saga. They don't have to make it, you know, be this huge, big thing where you only have a certain amount of maps. Oh, here we go, Morphin Time. Um, so, you know, they could have given us, like, a dozen maps, like two from every movie or something. And given us, you know, a bunch of different characters. But, anyways. Uh, for the movie coming out in December, is it a side story? Not, yeah, it's a side story. They call it um, Rogue One, a Star Wars story. So, it's 
Uh, it's between the events of episode three and four. Uh, well, not really in between. It's pretty much... Uh, Rogue One ends pretty much right where episode four takes off. From what I've heard, uh, it ends ten minutes before the beginning of episode four. Something like that. Like, a half, a ten minutes to a half hour before the actual episode four starts. So it's literally right before it. Um, but yeah, it's a side story, and then a year from now will be the actual episodic movies with, uh, with eight coming in December. You can hit those barrels. Oh, yeah. And then a year after eight will be the Han Solo standalone movie. Star Wars story... Solo's solo adventure. I don't know. Um, whatever they're going to call it. And then a year later from that, we'll have episode 9. And then a year later from that, they're going to do another standalone story. So we're going to have a Star Wars movie every year for the next... Well, probably every year for the next 10 years. 20 years, maybe, by the way they're doing things. I hated episode 3. Good movie. R.I.P. Republic. Yeah, three was three, three was all right. I did not like two very much. <clears throat> Boba Fett solo. It's just so weird that you know Boba Fett's turned into this big character and so you know popular character, but yet he's barely in the movies. He's in you know episode two briefly. Has, you know, a few lines, doesn't do any action or anything. Or episode five, I'm sorry. And then he's in episode six and he has a stupid death. But he ended up turning into this huge popular character <laughs> that people want solo movies and stuff for him. But you got a little more uh, character background in, you know, Attack the Clones. So that was kind of cool. Oh, come 